How you doing? And welcome to another Cigar Assessor Cigar Video Review. Today I'm very lucky to be reviewing the Kentucky Fire Cured Stick by Drew Estates in My Uzi Ways a Ton. Oh, it was great. I got these at uh, the IPCPR. I was there from Saturday to Wednesday. I had a beautiful time with a lot of beautiful people and uh, smoked some good sticks. Uh, and uh, I've got some good sticks to review. I'm looking forward to it. In the next few months, you're going to see a lot of new cigars, which I'm going to be reviewing for you. And that's a beautiful thing. So, uh, I was so excited to meet Jonathan Drew. I went into his uh, area and went with a friend of mine, Sergio. And got to shake his hand, take a picture with him. It was beautiful. And talked to him for a few minutes. Really class act. Uh, really class act. So. Um, let's get to work on this baby, and uh, it is a nice chocolate brown stick, a little rustic looking, which is cool, uh, pretty simple but elegant, nicely done band, paper, and well constructed, feels nice, no hot, it's not hard, it's not soft, it's just right. Minimal veins, beautiful. Okay, and this tobacco is um, stock cut, and I'll talk about that later. Let you know how that works. So let's give this baby a sniff. Wow, I'm getting some uh, barbecue, smoky hickory. Wow, very nice. And some beef jerky from the stick. Wow. That's very nice. First time. So let's get to work on cutting it. How you do? Bye bye. Beef jerky. Without the beef. Wow. Nice smoky like barbecue flavor. Ski. Really nice. Let's toast the foot with my brand new Jetline lighter. Compliments of the company. I'll talk more about that later too. Spicy, but not in a bad way, not like overpowering. There's a very lot of spices I'm tasting. Very full, creamy smoke. Well, that's very nice. So I'm gonna get to work on this. Come back with some flavor notes and some, let's get to see the burn, talk about the ash, and give you some more information on these, these uh, Kentucky Fire Cured tobaccos. All right. 
Look at that nice full smoke. Burns just a little uneven. The ash is very nice holding on. It looks very dense. We'll find it when it falls. Um, I'm getting a, like a molasses and still like a hint of barbecue. It's so far so good. So, the way this uh, Kentucky Fire Cure Tobacco, from what I read, the way, it were, the way it's pro processed is instead of pulling the leaves off the plant, they stem cut it, or stalk cut it. And then they take the whole plant and they hang it upside down so that all the nutrients that are in the, the stalk continue to go into the leaves. And they light a little fire underneath with oak and uh, hickory and all kinds of wood. And the smoke goes up and it smokes the leaves, which is really cool when you think about it. I mean, how do they do that with scotch? They smoke scotch. They smoke all the really, really tasty things. Smoked fish, smoked meats. And now, I mean, they've been doing it, I, from what I read, for over 200 years, but now it's becoming popular. So there's a couple uh, companies out there starting to do this fire cure, which is nice, really, really nice. So I met Johnny Brook over there at uh, Drew Estate, really cool dude, really cool cat. And uh, uh, he talked a little bit and he, he uh, was really, really uh, generous to let me have a couple sticks to review. Uh, the other thing that I was quite ecstatic over was, I do these reviews, I enjoy doing them, I enjoy smoking cigars. While I was there, I was kind of happy how many people actually knew who I was. Oh, I follow you, oh, Cigar Assessor, I know who you are. I'm finally glad to meet you, you know, all that kind of stuff, which was awesome. It was, it was an incredible experience. A lot of like-minded people hanging out, smoking, just you know, smoking about five sticks a day, sometimes more. But it was, it was great, it was great. And uh, this cigar so far is great. Look at that smoke. Look it up. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that ash. Look at that ash. That's a, that's a great ash. So, I'm going to pair this up today with just some home brewed iced coffee, which is uh, very nice on this beautiful 73 day in Los Angeles. Just a mix of beans that I had left over, uh, or coffee. What I do is when I'm done, whatever's left in the coffee pot in the morning, I put in the refrigerator. I just keep pouring whatever, whatever I have in there. And uh, now I have a nice blend. Compliments to my beautiful wife who brought it out here for me. So, we we'll put that down there. I'm gonna smoke some more of this, and I'll be back with some more information and two shakes of a turkey tail. full creamy smoke, nice even burn, nice gray ash, and the ash fell about a third of the way in, and it held its form, as you can see, nice and dense, beautiful, and we're getting flavors of molasses and hickory, uh, mesquite. This is a very, very nice cigar. Now the story behind this light, the jet line, which is a really nice light, I've been using it all week. Uh, it's a three torch lighter, just a little mirror. 
walked over to, uh, I saw this display case full of lighters, and there was a gentleman, David St. James, uh, behind the counter, and I talked to him what I do, and if I could possibly get a lighter to use for my reviews, and I would talk about it, and he said, sure, and he picked me out a nice lighter, it feels really good in the hand, nice flip top, three torch, like I said, and it doesn't burn through the fuel like other lighters I have. It, it, it's really, really a great product. So I met so many cool people, got so many different things. It's, it was a great, great, great time. Also, on my way back from Vegas to LA, I was driving with, with my buddy Harut, and uh, we were smoking cigars. So when I got home, I was so tired, I went in the house. The next day, I went to my car, and it smelled like cigars. And I met this guy, uh, yes. His name is uh, Paul Hoge, and he has a product, a uh, smoke odor eliminator. And they have these car, these things you put in your car. This one's mulberry spice, the one I have in my car right now, cinnamon apple. And so I put that in the car the next day and went back about an hour or so later to check on it, and the smoke odor was gone. It didn't smell like cigars in my car anymore. It smelled like uh, cinnamon apple. So that's a good product. Smoke odor. Extermination. Uh, Paul Hoge, really cool dude. Met him. He was spraying his stuff. If any of you guys were there, you might have saw a guy spraying fragrance all over the place. That was him. So let's get back to the cigar. You know, I, I had some chocolate today to pair it up with this, but I don't want to pair it up. I just want to smoke this. That's how good it is. Yes. Very nice. Very smooth. All right. Well, we're getting to the halfway point. And the band is not going to be a problem getting off the slide, so I'm not even going to worry about it right now. I'm going to smoke some more of this, drink some more of my coffee, and relax, take some pictures, and then I'll return with some more information for you very soon. Still pumping out full smoke. Burn still even. Let's take off this band and see what we get underneath. Very nice. No tears, no defects, splits, or glue blobs. Very, very nice. The ash just fell again. Uh, stood up and uh, it's still holding its, its form. Very great cigar. Still the same thing, the molasses, hickory, barbecue flavor, uh, skeet, oak. Very consistent, very consistent. She's nice. It's a great cigar. So they have um, three sizes for this cigar. This one's called Just a Friend, and it's 6x52. Uh, it comes in a box of 24. They also have, uh, it's called Fat Molly. 
and that's 5 by 56 and I guess because it's so fat it only comes in a box of 20 and the other size they have for this is called the chunky which is 4 by 46 and you get a box of 28 so those are the sizes for this new cigar Smoke is still full, the burn is still even, the ash is holding on, it's only fallen twice. Very, very nice cigar. Uh, I believe they have another winner on their hands with this cigar, and it is a Cigar Assessor's approved cigar. If you can find some of these, grab them up because they're going to go really quick, and throw them in your humidor and smoke them because they're very nice. So. Last part, I will have my son James wants to talk to you. Come on over, James. Yeah. You can read your written reviews at cigarassessor.com, and I will just want to say to you have a good weekend and enjoy your weekend. Thank you, James. And you can go to the Facebook, facebook.com slash cigar assessor, or send me a tweet, or you know, follow me at twitter.com slash cigar assessor and you can go to my Tumblr account which is cigar assessor. As I said, this is a really nice cigar and if you find some, grab them. I'm going to finish the rest of this little baby until I can't smoke it anymore and then enjoy the rest of my day and hopefully you enjoy yours. Have a great one. Roll, 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 shout out to Ellie.